Good day, viewers. Welcome to this channel. SVP Osibanjo congratulates Tinubu Shetima on tribunal victory. Miss request. Former President Yemi Osibanjo has congratulated President Bola Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima on their victory at the presidential petition tribunal. Politics Nigeria report that the PEC on Wednesday upheld the election of Tunumbu as the winner of the February 25, 2023 presidential election. Usupanjo, in a statement on Saturday, said that the ruling was a victory for Nigerians' constitutional democracy and the rule of law. He, however, made a request of to Nigerians to come together and work as one to achieve a common goal. Congratulations to President Bola Amir Tinubu, Vice President Senator Kashin Shetima, and our great party, the All Progressive Congress, on the judiciary affirmation of the victory at the presidential election of February 25th. 2023, Osiba just said, This ruling is a great victory of Nigeria's constitutional democracy and its rule of law. The practice of democracy in our nation has been further strengthened by the fact that all parties faithfully followed the electoral, electoral process according to the law and relied on our courts in the event of disputes. Hmm. What's in yours? My listeners, as Vice President Yumi Ushibajo is congratulating Tunumbu for the victory on the constitutional for the victory from the tribunal and he also urged Nigerian to be at peace with him. Congratulating our president and Shetima, the vice president. So over the victory on Wednesday concerning the election of of Tunubu as winner in February twenty twenty three presidential election. So it's saying that the victory they confirm is in line with the Nigeria constitution of democracy, democracy, constitution democracy and the rule of law. So, and his request, the only request he's making is that Nigeria should come together and work as one to achieve the goal. Just like the saying that say, divided will fall and united we stand. So, we cannot continue to divide our nation and be setting disputes against one another. But, we just have to work hand in hand work as one so that we can make it and um, move forward to put an end to grudges or any form of uh, dispute. So it's a question us to come together so that we can achieve the goal. What is the goal for the betterment of Nigeria and to think of things that will make Nigeria prosper? I make progress swiftly so that Nigeria can be amended once again because Tunubu said they will bring a new Nigeria. So that new Nigeria of our choice that we that have been abandoned for long we begin to spring for. So we shouldn't waste time in doing things going for doing things that will not benefit us, but rather 
oxidative things that will bring of be of great benefit to our nation. The practice of democracy in our nation has been further strengthened by the fact that all the parties faithfully follow the electoral process according to the law and we say that we rely on our courts to our courts in the event of dissent. So thank God that everybody has satisfied their conscience by following the rule of law in order to see if the victory is true or not. Now that they've confirmed Tunibu's victory, now that they've gone bring to court, everybody conscious is gone. So there is no need of going to another court or stressing it. So all is Roads is open to work hand in hand and all Nigerians so that Tunubu can make it because only Tunubu cannot bring a new Nigeria. If you don't work in agreement or in accordance with him, everything will scatter. The that time for us to bring that on and follow is a plan good plan for our nation Nigeria so that all things will work well for our good and it's not time for us to start pointing one finger or the other so all we need to do is to do the right thing at the right time and stop questioning his authority or intimidating him our president my listeners you have heard it all so kindly drop your comment as you know that your comment counts and as well as click on the bell button to subscribe to this channel